Legends, and this has been a banger. Let's get right into it. Yeah, Team Liquid, T-side start. They got utility on three players here, so maybe a, something a little bit drawn out from them. Same as Nuke. Lots of nades. Good early damage to find as well onto Shush. That's going to force Heroic to be a little bit more respectful here. Now they have stacked three over towards this B bomb site, and this is just a bit of a read right out of the gate. Taking this gamble, and will they get rewarded for it? Tessa's also waiting with a smoke. You want to get that out of him early. Right, you don't want to be left pushing in with very little time on the clock. There's that volley of utility going over, and now you've got to go through the smoke if you want to use your smokes. Whoa. One for Elyse, and they deal with the three-man stack, leaving it even. This is where that early attack to shush in the round could really come back to haunt Heroic. Yeah, they've got a nade, but it really won't change much at this point. You're hoping for headshots if you're on this CT side. They're going to go in a good place, but it's not a banana plant. Oh, it's done some serious damage to the unarmored Stewie. Forget what I said. This one does have consequences unless Stewie never matters, unless Naf was set up to win the round all along. They don't know how close Shush has got. Stewie going to take that contact. Not needed. Naf jumps over Coffin and takes a double. Does not wait for the tap. That's very scary. But knowing they might not check for Stewie as well, Liquid are going to lock in a pistol. Terrifying way to go about it. Yeah, you know, I think if you could say one thing about Liquid, it's that they've had their fair share of, you know, confident rounds here yeah, in this series. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that. And Naf, a man who exudes confidence. Yeah. Now, dual Barrettas in the pistol, I'm not a massive fan of. Dual Barrettas in the force fight, that's just straight up ugly. Yeah, I hate it. These guns aren't good. <laughs> They're not good on pistols. What makes you think they'd be good against AKs? Uh, it's great because usually I get proven wrong, but I never do with these weapons. They're just <laughs> awful. They're garbage. <laughs> and I'm going to keep laughing while they fall first. Like, they must be doing something in prac. There's no way that people would continue to buy these up. But nope. I watch CS every day of it's my life, like and the... I'm, yet, I'm yet to see more than one kill and then traded in a, in a pro game. I just, I don't is know. Is it the WWE? Is that the wrestling one? I don't yeah, know, mate. mate. Or is maybe. that the Panda charity? It could be one or the other. <laughs> it's a bit Point of a smackdown. Point is, you know, maybe it's just an elaborate ruse with the dualies. Over towards Banana for Liquid, and an empty B bomb site would await them. Stown starting to peel around now like an orange. Setting himself up over here in B. Flashing. That's an info flash right there, right? Throws it over. Bait shots out of two players at Banana. And now you know there were a good few of Liquid players grouped up here. Yeah, Liquid just take a deep breath and move back to that A site. They know that, yeah, Heroic got that info. So why lean into that any more than we have to? Now, Heroic wants step ahead. Refresh has rotated back. It is that game of whack-a-mole. Which site will you hit? Liquid. Oh, that flash does get blocked. They turn in time. It could be a problem, though. Everyone looking the wrong way. Deeg's coming out. And these are much better than the Julies. Katie and Tessa's both on the board. There's another for Refresh. And Stewie needs to clutch out of nowhere. Not allowed by Kadian and his merry men as Heroic steal away the force. It's almost to be expected with how this series has gone. Yeah, I mean, there's been no rhyme or reason to the uh, the anti-ecos or the force by wars that seem to pepper their way across every one of these maps so far. This one is no exception. It's scary because, you know, that's a pretty clean round as far as they go with these four spies, as has often been the case. Yep. You arm yourselves now. You're feeling good if you're heroic. Of course, Liquid are down to dance if you are. And it does take two to tango. Elyse hears them running back there. But that's not really much help. You know, long's open. You don't have a smoke down for it yet. There it is for Grim. That gives Elyse the room to fight on to this A pit position. Grim's baiting shots for some of the peak Elyse. No one will make that mistake. Heroic are insured in this four-man setup. And oh. we'll make that a three-man setup. Elyse, Dex, Shush. 
And if you try to explode short with the Moto Smoke, which is exactly what they're doing, this is perfect. The only guy who can stop you is Refresh. Oh, Kadian oh. comes through the long smoke and fights them head on. Even though they deal with Refresh out on the balcony, a two for one out of him is brilliant. And it draws the attention away. It gets you discounting a Moto Smoke push, which both Kadian and his teammate commit to to retake that bomb site before there's ever even much of a threat. Yeah, we, we've seen a lot of similarities in these two teams inside of Inferno. We saw a lot of Inferno for Heroic in the group as well as Liquid, who picked it for the first couple of series they played. For Heroic, they love doing these like really quick arch takes on the T side, like fast A out of spawn with early smokes. Liquid are no exception to that as well. Less arch, more short. They really do like pop the A in the first 40 seconds of the round. Um, you know, so th there are definitely similarities in these two T-sides. Liquid right now leaning into these stacks many around. This one's only two on A early, but Shush needs no assistance. However, Kadian will still provide at least good for one. Shush, ah, uh, dinked. Should be fine. And they clean it up without a worry. Three to one, that was always meant to be for Heroic after winning the force buy. And now Liquid have, well, the buy, but it is already lacking. Galil's in to en uh, enable that utility. You've ne you need it on the T side of this map. The ability to fake, the ability to throw your smokes and then get mollied and then have to re-throw your smokes. No map quite like it. Yeah, let's take a look at this as well. Uh, Kadian had a good spawn for B. He's gone here early to get posted with the orb. Curious as to whether they're going to use him as this like railgun role to hold down Banana solo and free up more players for these A rotations, or if they will just, you know, keep to the double setup here. Looks like the latter for now. You haven't really heard much of what's going on at Banana. Your deep smoke has made Liquid respect this control for the time being. Now you hear the utility. I like not actually playing with that deep smoke down yeah. banana as well, right? Because you, you get all the reward of having the deep smoke. You've wasted a lot of utility for liquid clearing just dead angles. You get the info and uh, and look, now you smoke them off again. And so it's like they, they just yeah. use two Molotovs, handful of flashes, all to regain control that you still have and you have the info for without, without ever having to take the risk of a fight. Yeah, that's why I mentioned, you know, sometimes you need the, the four set of util, right? Yeah, one execute isn't enough. You need to run it twice on the same site. Good grenades, though, over the wall. Now Liquid, they were set up to go A anyway with Grim Lurky and Banana. Now they've just got to come in. No question about it. Luckily, only two CTs here. Stown hidden in the back of the bomb site. Just going to burn to a crisp, and he can't take them down with him, but he's done damage. Now entering. Stown waiting. Can't get anything done through the smoke. If you want to win the round, it's all on refresh, and it won't work. Allegiance provides cover from the mini pit and that sends heroic back to the b bomb site mate that is that is a huge kill from a leash both those players in the site yeah. with the bomb at five and 12 health for like too. That, that could have been a disaster because this is purely, you know, Inferno is such a numbers-based map. When you're heroic here, regardless of how much damage has been done, regardless of, you know, how close you came to killing people, you look up at the top and you see 2v4. Well, we don't even try that. We don't even attempt those. If he doubled up there, even if the trade came in late, you would be enticed to have attempted this retake. You would have given it a try. It's a big stuff. Not just from Elise, but Nap with the entries as well. But of course, with save guns come rebuys. It's always the way. Heroic will not go down without a fight. This is the equalizer for Liquid. Back to Triple B, not deterred by the fact that Liquid moved away from that as soon as they realized. This time, Cadian's at least orping up on short. They take the safe route as well, crossing from the A side. Tessa goes down, as we will meet him there, but not for long. Tessa drops him down banana, and now he's pretty screwed, caught in the corner. He's got Molotov to throw in on his escape, and that actually does give him cover from the ramp. No one can spam the smoke. He will get back to A, or B rather. Might even make that full rotate. <laughs> That's a crazy fight for Tessas to have won. Yeah. He got Molly Nade comboed into that banana push. So he was on like 30 health at the beginning of it. Oh dear. This is the bomb. Oh, that Molly has just saved Fallen's life. There was a flash ready to go over the top. 
and Fallen even capitalizes. Low health on either team right now. Yeah, this is going to jiggle up your CT setup a hell of a lot, right? Especially with all that early damage done onto Tessas. You're, you're very, very paranoid about a B hit coming your way. And honestly, with the utility Team Liquid have, B hit's kind of the only thing available to them here. They don't really have enough to clear out any of these positions over at the A bomb site. But three smokes at B, or one of those in CT, one of those over okay. at Coffins, and suddenly you're on your way to a take. They're boosting Fallen up and over for the Whoa. CT peak. Refresh was playing that pixel angle, oh, and he no. finds one through the smoke, but now they're going to go. Tess has been low on HP since the start of the round, but that's not stopped him. That's not slowed him down. Naf will get his revenge, and is now thrown into a 1v2 clutch. It's a very open pot. He can't go back to Bernardo. He can't go anywhere. Nade thrown over the top, and a bit of spam to slow him down means Naf can go nowhere. Heroic in with the instant retake and lovely hold out of Tessa. You would have counted him out as a dead man the second he got out of B. Shouldn't have even made it back to the bomb site. But then he doubles up on the defense. Liquid had to go through the smoke. It would be too obvious otherwise. And they did spam refresh on the trade. But even then, smoke's just deep enough, or I guess shallow enough, that Tessas has such advantage as players come through. They're barely regaining their vision. And Tessas is already sending it to fade to black. So, nice round out of Heroic. B-Holds are looking good right now. Liquid. Got a rebuy. Got another AWP as well. I say another, their first AWP on this T side. Gonna be needed. Kadian now taking the cross peak. Doesn't see anything with a flashbang. Fallen's got his up on B. Knows he's been given a lot of space in the past and wants to take it away, but Molotovs again make him honest. Whoa. Oh! oh no! Couldn't pick a nade. Couldn't get it out in time. Scroll nades. You need binds. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. He's going through the itinerary while he's burning alive. And it's not a fun day at camp right now. Full and burnt out to open this one. Still, he does get to don that orb now at least. Gonna set up this lovely little pop flash for Grim. But once again, Stout's just jiggle peeking this pixel angle. He just gets the info like, yeah, it looks like me. I'll drop my smoke. But they're pressuring. They're moving in regardless of this utility. Tessas has been a real beast here. Oh. And he's good for two and a half. It's down there to finish the job. And Stewie with Fallen's AWP in hand. A 1v4. What should be an undoable round. This B site nice. holds its own again. And Team Liquid just cannot gain an inch over towards B. Tess says a real force to be reckoned with to open up this map. Yeah, the realization came too late. He just dodged a previous molly as well. But that came down right at the last second. Nice utility and heroic. You've got to give it to them. They've had the banana control while simultaneously not having the yeah, banana Yeah, they don't control. actually play banana, yeah. but they're keeping you out of it. Yeah, Tess is the lord of the B site right now. Okay, Skadia now with more rounds going to Heroic's favor. He's starting to take more risks. Shush covers down mid. Stewie was open. Watching Banana. Stown goes over the top, and it's a bit audacious with no flash behind him. It's a freebie for Liquid. They'll lob one into B. They'll try and chase him down with his retrieved rifle. And now they know where that player is, but he's not going to have uh, any problems. Even though CT's open, Liquid had to face it. It's Tessis to get one for one. Kadian trades. Bomb in the bomb site, but for how... Oh, wait, no, it's trapped out in spawn. They can't get that. No way in hell. Fallen's dead to nade. Nap with a clutch. He's got to fight his way out. Yeah, last time he got naded in spam, or well, this time he's got to fight for it. He does not have a choice in the matter. With this AWP Acadian backing off to CT, Naf gonna have a real rough time of regaining any going... semblance of control oh, here. He's gonna go okay. around the world. A little Naf fly that could on a big old journey. 45 seconds as he goes on a tour to Inferno. They've got to know. And eventually they've got to start to piece this together. Shush is clearing out the bomb site. So Kadian's going to move in to join him. Timing is everything here. Kadian turning back, posted oh, up, gosh. nails the shot. And Heroic extend their lead up onto six. Mate, a few seconds difference would have done it for Naf there. That's so close. Try and keep Heroic out. But as said, Heroic have been fine with giving it up. Maybe not this time, though. Four here. Yeah, they want to fight you for this control. They want to take it all away. This also gives you the chance for your A players to lob the deep util down and then rotate. And look at this. The, the remaining players left on the B-bomb site still have a bit of utility to keep this going. 
And even though Liquid might be counting mollies and going, wait, I swear that's three, maybe that's even four Molotovs down banana. Well, already the stack is back on A. Liquid think they've got the drop. Heroic welcome them into their bomb site. Yeah, this is, you know, the mind game starting out your lulling Team Liquid into a false sense of security. Mid Util going out and over. Heroic feeling good about this stack. And Kadian swinging out on the short side. That first bit of contact made. No kill found on the back of it. Heroic have since dissembled this, uh, this four man stack over in the A bomb site. Abintes has rejoins down over at B. Kadian still trying to make these info plays happen. Wants to be assured that no one has taken middle. And so that's enough for him to up and leave. Team Liquid are coming back, though. Stown looking like he wants to push Banana, is hiding in this smoke right now. He's going to get the information early that no one is here. But all that's going to do is let these A players know, yeah, they're coming your way, but Shush wins his fight and have some refresh with the mode. Does get caught switching. 15 seconds, one man still to get past, but you don't know that if you're liquid. They gotta find this pit player in Shush. The bomb dead. It's a short plot. And so Shush is there to lock it in. Yeah, even with the mistake of switching weapons early when you could have gotten more damage off, and it doesn't, none of that matters. Liquid just popped through smokes, and Heroic have so many numbers on the other side. Even with that early priority back to B, it did not hold them back. Yeah, refresh could have kept going, man. Probably would have found another as well if he kept spamming that smoke. But this is an excellent defense out of Heroic right now. They were slow to start, but they're looking strong to finish if they can keep it up. 30 round game. Not over till it's over. But Liquid having trouble getting T rounds on the board. Yeah, I mean, even that round there, right? You, you hit uh, the, the lesser stack site, you finally have Heroic reading it wrong, and you're still not able to get in. That's a horrible feeling. This time, Team Liquid hear the flash back into Top Banana. They know they were about to make Whoa. contact, but knowing only half the battle, the nades still looking so good out of Heroic. And so that's eight to two. Team Liquid, they've already made one incredibly tough comeback happen in this series back on Overpass to start the day. This one is going to require them to dig deep again if they want to come back into this. Heroic are only looking more fired up, whereas Liquid yeah. dropping off right now. They can't come up with solutions. They can't beat this Heroic B lean. The Banana Control's never been there. And so once again, Heroic go back four strong at the Banana early. Yeah, nice. it would be nice to see Liquid slow it down, right, and take more of a, a late Banana take, you know, hold on to abs, make sure you have some sort of lurk on A and, and retake Banana in the mid round. Just give it away. Let Heroic burn their util. And that much they have done. Some of it, at least. Flashes over the top of A. They're going to burst onto this bomb site. This is more like it. This is what we saw from Liquid in the group. Hopping into the site for Stewie. Still going to be dead. There's no trade yet. That smoke is a problem. Fallen flies through the grenades. Continue to make mincemeat of Team Liquid. Naf, 1v4. And inside of the pit sits Shush. He knows which side he wanders. Oh, oh Tessez still standing tall. And Heroic barely make a dent. I like over in the Team Liquid camp. Yeah, and even when you were getting locked out a little bit, similar to this was 7-0 up for Heroic back on overpass on their CT side. At least we had Kadian being quiet. You know, we didn't have much out of him. He is having a great game this time around. 11-2, and two, and he's found an opening pick on Banana as well. Liquid's still trying to play out a spawn, and it's not doing them any favors. At least you get stuck in that molly. Fresh is going to peek in, and he's dropped two. Quick F5 key hit. He gets out like a light. Nothing Liquid can do about it. Bombs loose in the middle. Suey back to apartments, and these rounds are getting decided for Liquid before they even get a say in the matter. There was a gap for Suey there to get up short. Instead, he goes into the triple long take. That's a big kill. Oh, Suey's got another as well. They're not going to repeat because they were already rotating to fill the void the Grim created. That now gives time and space for Liquid to get a, a, you know, situated together and pick a bomb site. Now a two on one at B. Stown has full utility. If Liquid announce this presence, the Molly will be down. Yeah, and that's kind of heartbreaking. The, the Molly just slows you down. The, the smoke only adds to this problem. You're both low. Oh. The rotations are in. What? 
Stown's gonna lock it in. A lovely little 180 while blind to close. It's another round for Heroic. Remen do do all they can, but after getting so low in their fights, you know, there wasn't really a lot of hope for you there. Then you go into the one box site that still has a full belt of utility at it. Yeah, now you see things like uh, mid re aggro brackets. Heroic have been playing nice passive setups, right? Like pit anchors, often because they've been leaning three or four B early, and so you don't want to give up your mid picks. Heroic haven't played apartments. Right there, refresh just rushes long and, and shoots liquid, lining up util in middle. Oh no, now they're starting to get confident. Heroic taking names and even taking space. Shush saves the life of that mid push. A refresh lives to tell the tale. Again, a double up for a refresh. He is so dangerous down mid. Swaps out to the pistol and he even survives yet again. Shush saved him, saved him once. He saves himself the second time around. Liquid have got B for free, although they don't know it. Tessis is on his rotate. Yeah, that's, that's the awkward part. You never actually spotted this third player over in middle. And so when you get that kill at B, you're still worried about this second man. Tessas is often here as well. So when you look and see he's still alive, you're cognizant that he might be here. He is. He's waiting in coffins now. They've given him time. And there's one. Stewie 2K at the B bomb site trying to do the impossible. We've been here once before. Won't be giving the fight right away. Oh, Shush just no. runs on through. It's refresh, refresh. rather. Runs through yeah. the smoke. This guy's had enough. He wants a series done. He's been playing incredible Counter-Strike all day long, right? We talked about how Heroic have external factors in the back of their minds. For refresh, this is nothing of the sort. This guy just in the game right now, rushing smokes when Stewie's spraying them as well. He is not deterred nor perturbed by any factors especially not liquid. Fallen Zorp. And I, I really want to slow around out of liquid, right? Like, obviously, a lot of the time, Heroic have come to them. But we haven't seen liquid try and play the clock, burn the util, run some fakery. And this is a good round for it, although if Liquid just walked into B right now, be their best bet at this bomb site. It has not been good to them, but right now it's undefended. Only Cadian's AWP. Yeah, there's a nasty triple mid setup out of uh, Heroic here. And when they hear that molly oh. tag, they swing, they peek on the back of it. Unreal. I do love that, right? Stown playing that close left angle. I think it was, uh, we saw a liege pre-fire that the other day, but uh, the whole idea is, right, that molly goes in. If you hear it tag someone, you're not expecting a swing that quickly from the long side. So now they throw a little bit of utility over in towards a smoking off arch, maybe looking to try and split this B bomb site. You wanna get past Stown if you want this control. And he's not gonna roll over and take it. Also worried about potential short re-aggression that we could have come through, especially with the bomb still back on Stewie over in middle. It is this mid to B split. They're gonna try and come in. Cadian's one step ahead, waiting in the CT spawn to cut off these flanking players. That leaves all the pressure on the two in through Banana. Tess says hidden, back of the site, buying time. Grim brushed aside and Stewie is all alone. He just doesn't have the time to make this happen. If he gets the bomb down, yeah, I was going to say, that would be almost an error on Heroic's part. They don't let it happen. Naf was lost to the hands of time over in CT. Yeah. And so the mid to be never gets to come through. If he got it through as well, it's open for Naf. Like, not to say he's favored by any means, but there's at least an opportunity. He's in spawn. It's a blue plant. He can cover the cross, but great stall out of Tessas, even though he gets traded, lives long enough to take Grim with him. And just living a few seconds and not, you know, if, if you're going to go one for one, go one for one as late as you can. It means your team are up banana. They're already in CT. Heroic, this is a masterclass on CT Inferno. And as soon as Liquid feel like they have answers, Heroic are throwing different things at them. Cadian, all down mid will miss. So he needed that pick and Stown. He is a rock right now. You can't get through him. A stoppable force meets an unmovable object. And Heroic holds strong yet again. Even an apps trade. We haven't seen much apps play in this game at all. Cadian goes down, but the orb is already retrieved and fallen as the smoke blooms, gets his head removed. This is as good as done. Four on two, a leech legged as well. And Liquid just begging for mercy. 
Yeah, beg it for anything, man. Elise, oh. nice little bait play to get that push out of refresh. He's selling this A play hard, but oh, no. it's not the fake. Gotta it is apps. the commitment. Gotta Griff, do not go through middle, and he will root back through the apartment. Stout, Stout can still hit this timing. He can still get fast and loose with the timings. Out through the short side, Elise. Oh, he's seen oh, him. Oh, he dead on the jump. Grim will trade it. It's a 1v1, a chance at three rounds for Team Liquid. Not where they wanted to be. But they'll take anything at this point in time. Grim needs to win this at least just to save a little bit of face for Team Liquid. Set up in the graveyard and it's top fragger Tessas to try and beat on the other side. It's a real David versus Goliath story here. Tessas has so many angles to check. Grim misses that timing on the swing. Oh, but not the second time around. So it's three to 12. You're really clutching it strong to that semi-final versus Na'Vi. Yeah, will the beating ever commence, Liquid Wonder, as we get right on in. T-side now for Heroic. And this is where they did a lot in the group stage, right? Running this map in their 5-0 run. Let's see if this continues. Up in apartments, a rare position to see in this map so far. Julie's on a liege and lots of utility, but no kit. Oh, sorry, there is one on Fallen. Double flash, double smoke, quad flash. You got everything if you're liquid. You got to watch out for those Glock spam tags, but Heroica here for heads. $300 on each one. It's a pretty nice price to pay. Why is this motor smoke raining in? Fallen knows that he's about to get tested in a big way. They cross into CT, but not before Fallen's done peppering them with damage. They can split this B site though, and Liquid know oh, that, so they try to re-aggress in middle, but with KD and Refresh both getting kills, this might actually entice you back the other way. You lose Refresh in middle, and I think this is where you now really hit the go button on the B play. Stuart 2K, back of the bomb site, but look at the time, 40 seconds on it, and he's got to try <laughs> and keep this alive for Team Liquid. Oh, they're pressuring him all oh. right, and Kadian's going to delete him. Bomb plant now oh. in. These guys could deny it, but they're very respectful on the peak. Ooh. They catch Kadian on the jump back. And so now, one of the most winnable rounds you've had, a two-on-one. Stown, the guy to try and get past. They're on the bomb, they tap it, they bait the peak, and they lock in the kill. It's a pistol round for Team Liquid to find them a fourth. Yeah, you just got to hold on to that, right? Don't let it run away. Don't let it elude you. It's all you've got. Heroic might even just try and force and flip the script, right? It's uh, you know less likely on these these T sides, but with a bomb plant down, that might entice you. Get and with this more. lead as well, yeah, exactly. right? Exactly. I mean, you can use that both uh, like both ways. Like, oh, we have such a lead. Let's not blow it by by forcing and risking it all here. Let's just wait for our guns as soon as possible. We get more gun runs out of it. Or you could go like the very confident route of like, yeah, these guys suck, guys. Come on, just buy, win it, close it now. Heroic won't get ahead of themselves though, and I. Actually kind of like this by giving a bit of respect to liquid but they'll swiftly take it away once they get rifles for now this should be the freest round liquid have all series mainly glocks and a couple of flashies to get them through oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that was a dink, but it was through the edge of the wall, so Fallen is still fine. And that can actually be a little misleading at times as to how much damage you've done. Yeah, Stown might now be saying, yeah, one's low. I gushed him. When in reality, he's still looking fine. Cadian with the flash, Stown with the smoke in at Moto, but Naf not going to let these Glocks overwhelm him. Not breaking a sweat, it's clean, it's easy, it's a Team Liquid fifth, locked and loaded. And they're going to keep all five alive to boot within the context of, you know, Heroic taking the full eco there. Having such a clean round here really does matter. You do not want to be in a situation where you run the bonus round here. You've really got no choice in whether or not you run that, you've got oh. to. Yeah, look what it does to your vision there when you get goosed. Your face goes flying. But yeah, this just means you dodge this situation where, like, you lose a round, uh, and that's just it. Like, the game is done, yeah. which could have been a very real reality considering the investment now on Heroic. A lot calmer out of the gate, right? We never got these slow T starts for Liquid. They wanted map control immediately in their T rounds. Heroic will 
hesitate. Liquid will take banana. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're, they're playing around this deep banana smoke, which was something Heroic never did, really, when they threw it in. There was that one round where, like, Tessa's pushed down, but that was really the extent of it. To stall it even later as well. Naf's got a flash. He could send Stewie through, but making a play like that in a 5-on-5 five five is a uh, quite audacious move. And Heroic smartly won't commit to anything until this banana smoke is faded. They want to make sure they have, you know, at least map control on both sides as you need on Inferno, just to stop your opponents from stacking right. And they've got to clear this corner. Flashes go in. Stewie gets clear, but blinded. He still provides a first. Nap helps out his thorn. Stewie would have loved to finish Tessas there, but he's team blocked by Shush, who oh. saves his life. And Refresh wants to end Grims. He's done that. Bomb comes running back. And Liquid, who rotated into what was rightly a B play, but is now flipped into a heroic bringing the bomb. Yeah, that, that's heartbreaking. You know that kill might have just sealed your fate. You're now hoping that a liege can have a massive oh. round. And he will open up with refresh. That was the one player actually in the site for Heroic. After losing him now, you're relying on getting this trade out of the apartments. A liege not looking the right way, but have to flick back up. Damage oh. done, and a liege has made this possible. Fallen, 1v1. And this really decides like how much faith you have in this Team Liquid comeback. If you win this round, the game's up in the air. Shush. With the plant, low on HP, fallen arm with the scout. Might be better faring with the pistol here. Shush holding, just waiting. Knows he's not going to have many chances to win this round. Time's getting away from Fallen. Eventually, he's got to make a move. And as he comes in, will he clear this back position? Fallen leaping oh. in. And there's the Tech 9 to close. Defuse found. And it's Team Liquid narrowly taking that round back. Remember, they misrotated. They went to be refreshed. Got the Lurk kill. Cannot, cannot highlight enough how key Elise was to that entire victory, man. It all starts to go a bit pear-shaped. We needed a hero to step up. He deals with Refresh, that player that was holding for the rotation. That immediately entices you into that being a winnable round. And then a great read from Volan to close it out. He's been burned by that backside position a couple of times in the groups and in the first round of playing. So he was very, very keen to check it there. Yeah, and Shush is so paranoid, right? The longer you wait, the, the more you're wondering where the hell is he coming from? He could be anywhere by now. No a second, no chance to react. Oh, so he knows they're up in front of the smoke, but he doesn't want to die there. Get out, rightly so. Remollied as well. Could have been trapped up top B. Instead, you just leave Stown in position, the reflash, and doing nothing with it. Actually, it's just a smoke and a molly combo thrown from Coffin. At least cleans out this position. That's respected by Stown. Meanwhile, the rest of Heroic ready to execute on A. This time, it's going to be a quicker one, it looks like. Minute 10. The clean out mid. Arch smoked, porch mollied, and Liquid decide to re-aggress. At this point, Liquid are probably thinking they've gone back to B. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Liege make that rotate. It's gone very quiet all of a sudden, but the smokes recommit. Yeah, and now they hear that fall and decide, I don't want to hang around in middle. The last thing I want is to be the guy going one for one. I need to be up in the site and holding the line. They drop on in. They're trying to overwhelm Grim in the pit, and they will trade him out. Elise has come through the moto smoke, getting ahead of it and lining up. One and a half a shot. No. One is low. The wall bank could finish him. He's hidden. Here's this mid flank coming in. You're on a timer here if you're heroic, and time oh, is quickly see. running out. Stown, he sees a barrel, but he's got to engineer a way to get this kill and then embark on the one on two. Has dealt with Fallen, he's got the bomb down in the pit, and only 20 seconds to cross into this bomb site. Liquid are looking to face him, and that oh. might be their downfall. Luckily enough, Naf swings out with the trade. These aren't comfortable rounds, but they are still tallying up. On the liquid side. Yeah, clutches are motivating as well, right? You feel like you're just coming out with every single one-on-one, -on -one, even though Heroic are making them damn close, giving Liquid a run for their money. They can't seem to convert yet on the T side. It's early days. It's only been a few rifle rounds, but four in a row now for Liquid. Baby steps. Fallen lives long enough there on the boost spot. And Elige keeps lighting them up with damage as well. Poor, for uh, you know, poor position for Kadian as well. He ducks on that close corner, but the barrel actually hides the player coming round short. If he was stood up, maybe he could take one with him. Fallen's taking dangerous peaks down mid, but against the Eagles, less risky than the alternative.
heroic, looking like they just want to go for another pump and dump A play. They've got the long smoke, they're throwing over a smoke in tandem with it. They get up the short side, Fallen nails that opener, but now there's three up on short, and Fallen is blindsided by just how deep these pistols get. Grimdad in the pit, and suddenly this is getting out of hand. Elise once again needs to come in big, and it's more damage. But it's traded into this two-on-two. -two. Kadian and Stout still alive, still a threat. Bombs delayed for now, and this is giving more time for Liquid to get entrenched, get set up and ready for the retake. They look like they want to go through. They're dropping smoke of their own. That cuts off this pit oh, player, and what? Stewie 2K lives up to his name, locking in that round. Beautiful little flicks, and Liquid are believing again. If they can recover rounds like that, if they can recover score lines like this, what can't they do, they're starting to say? Yeah. Ooh. Those are some dirty pre fires. Look at this one as well on the pit player. Like he knew about both positions. Pop right in the head as Stown stands up. And suddenly Liquid are licking their lips. Heroic. Swinging their hips. Need to get something moving. Need to get grooving on this T side. Can't afford to go stone cold here with such a lead. They even gave the respect over to Liquid to not force and get that rifle round in ASAP. They've got to show why they wanted these guns. Up and on and now. Not seeing proper BXX in this T side. Naf is hitting the sandbags. Stewie has a flash for him on contact, but you could just get walked on right now. Heroic on very sneaky yeah. at B. You're, you're playing this all on like a timing, on, on, on a feeling. You're not going to get many auditory cues for this flash play. The Molly's a nice way of potentially getting Naf out of there. He decides, I actually don't want to be here. I don't want to be the guy that gives up this B entry. Oh, oh Fallen holds on this arch side. And so it's an early 5 on 4 for Liquid again. Still holding on, but this is where you B execute. Heroic are going to full commit. Resmokes it short, boost over. Refresh is selling it, but he might not be here for long. Liquid aren't buying, they're stealing. Can they find him, though? He walks away from the smoke, and that might be his undoing. It's very close. And Elise sees something. He can't finish the job, though. Refresh now knows he's been boosted up. He tells his team to recommit. Smokes go in. 30 seconds. Nah. Pushed out of the sight. Sweet throws himself in with a flashbang, but no one's blind. And Naf now has to concede. Fallen's early pick is at least kept things even now, as Lincoln will have to play for retake. Yeah, if you go for this and you fall short, Team Liquid, you lose everything. That's the worry. That's the concern. It's all on the line. And already Grim doesn't look committed. The rest of the gang are bowing out. And, and that's just a product of where the money's at right now. You know, you've been winning these rounds. You've won them all in this second half. But they've all come so close, so down to the wire that you just don't have the money to fall back on if you go for this retake and fumble it. It's kind of heartbreaking as well because that boost, if, if that nets you the kill onto refresh, you 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 overstack the B bomb, yeah. so you move a lot of players there. With Elise not able to find it, it actually brings Fallen back from the B bomb site, takes him out of the correct place to be, and they reinforce the A hole, thinking that they're sneaking their way through top middle. Yes, yeah, Stewie's flash play as well. You know, it's fine to do that for Coffins, but he, they're not even going yet. Look at Stown on that replay. He's, he's turned back. He's waiting for that exact move, probably through the CT smoke more so than Coffin, because Naf was just spamming it. But they're waiting for some of the come through and throw themselves a B. They know that Liquid don't want to be left in a retake scenario. They'd love to throw this entire round into disarray before Heroic take the site. So good read and good slowdown for Heroic to dodge that flash back in. 13 to 8. There's your first. Can you build upon it, though? Grenade does do damage. Second one's a bit slower, though. So we get out with 70 health. The, the, the scary thing about calling for the save as well is like now you have the guns out here, but uh, you're, you're not out of that situation where one loss breaks everything and yeah. stops you in your tracks. You're and just, up against 13, right? That's uh, you're just replaying the round essentially. That's all it, it feels like. You know, you you give one up and you just come in with the same buy, albeit maybe even a little bit worse. Because that fourth player did die or fifth player did die. They've got a rebuy with no nades. Refresh, he's been a nuisance all series long. Doesn't know about the double setup though. katie has got the long pick. Leech dead first fall and falls and Grim has to trade, but it comes at a cost. He's now all that stands between Heroic and the A site. Yeah, his B teammates can't rotate either. No matter how much 
Grim wants help. He is in this one alone. They secure the B kill, and Grim's just trying to buy time. Anything he can do to enable these rotations is good. The fact they haven't cleared him out yet is big for Team Liquid. Eventually, Kadian's going to try and deal with this pit player. Grim is doing everything he can to just not give this two on two over. Naf wants to try and set him up with a flash for a peek into the site. Flash goes Whoa. over, but Grim's actually blinded by it. Kadian waiting in the graveyard. They've never seen him. They don't know about him. Shush up in the site. They're getting wrapped on from every position. And they've still got this pit man to worry about. Kadian with one, but he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. And Shush is tagged up. Finished off by Naf. They don't have a kit. It's going to be close. Oh, no. Naf grabs one. We're good. Nine on the board for Team Liquid. As that retake does come through. And that's why you save, right? That's that's the belief in the system, the faith you're going to follow up with the right Grim around was, was huge in that yeah, as well. I, like, just... I'm very surprised for I give him the respect to, to get in position there, especially considering Stown dies at B in that three on three. That's a bit awkward, but it's fine because he spots the players out of B. With that info, Heroic could have used that to try and hunt down Grim. You know, very dangerous play, but at least gives them a bit of room to finish the job. Yeah, it meant that when you were trying to set up in those post plants, you know, you're always looking over your shoulder. You're always worried about just dying to the guy who's been in pit the whole round. Not often that you get given that much respect, and I think it's really a product of who the pit player is. Yeah, and what's on the line, right? This is a comeback for Liquid, but look at Stown. Early B player in Fallen. He's coming back. He's here in time. They know he could be out, but... Heroic are far deeper than Liquid are imagining. The smokes will make that clear. Fallen here's first steps. He's telling his team. He's telling Grim to watch out. Fallen goes through. And he mows down one. Almost the second. Elige now going up and over the bike. Grim doubles down in the pit. And this guy just won't know when to quit. Three on two. Naf, did he see that orb doubling back? I don't know. He seems aware. He's going to hear Kadian run ult. And actually doubling back. The bomb's been dropped by Naf. And Shush is not given the trade that he wanted. Liquid probably know he's either apps or he's right here on short. And Shush has nothing. No angle to find, no kill to take. Naf's taken back B. He's given up the bomb, but he won't give away the site. Yeah, you're just playing the long game now. You leave two over at this A bomb site there to try and retake together if Naf can't hold on. Uh -oh. He's going to hear Shush running in. Naf was last seen over on A. You're not ready for a reposition out of someone so sloth-like to be there so fast. But it's Team Liquid reaching double digits now. Remember, this was a 12-3 half in favor of Heroic. Yeah, you would have thought Liquid would be in their heads, but now I can tell you who's in their heads. And they probably were coming into this series, but still they've held on despite everything. Now this more than ever is ruffling the feathers of Heroic. Quite the comeback mounted by Liquid. But is it all in vain, right? Couple of right rounds in the right place could break Liquid's money and put Heroic over the line and into the semifinals. It's never yeah. going to be easy. That, that's the scariest part, right? Liquid uh, have not been established at all in this half as, as Heroic were in theirs, right? Whenever Liquid won a round, it was always met with immediate resistance and buys coming back in. Liquid instead have to lean a lot more into saving if fights don't go favorably. And a B execute could be a real bad example of that if you're a Liquid fan. If these two B players fall without getting anything done, it's a save. So they need to hold the line. Oh. And oh my god, hold it, they shall! Naf mows them down! Four in the round for him! And now 11 for Team Liquid. They are in this map refresh. Certainly slowed down since that first half. I mean, everyone has. It's not like Kadian's orb has been providing picks either. Fallen's T side orb wasn't doing much. We touted this as a series of the AWPs, but it doesn't feel like that's really come to be the truth, apart from on Nuke, where Kadian was at the forefront of every fight, as it felt like. Now, a quick pop out of the apps. Alexa B style. Yeah, but you got, you got to get past Grim. This guy has been just uh, the Grim Reaper of the A bomb site, and this round is no exception. Get out of the apartments. Grim's here with a double, and he won't let them into it. You wanted to fast apps pop now, nah, mate. Back to the drawing board. Back to the ideas, man. For you. Yeah, bring your crayons with you. Kind of try and fake shots on long. They at least find out Fallen's here. There's no orb still, right? Money has continued to be that problematic factor for Liquid. The one thing that's keeping Heroic believing, knowing they can break this bank, but not able to do it yet. Back to B. 
Very passive setup. Liquid, I like this. They can play for retake. Even if they kill no one and they give away the bomb site. Heroic. I mean, there's no smoke. They've got to fight their way through. They're so focused on new box, on dark, on coffins, on blue. They're never going to be ready for the double CT setup. This should be a sweep. Falling kills the Larka. Naf baits him in. Nice shot from Stal, but it won't be much as Shush falls as well. Naf, a multi-kill from him and Grim as these rounds have come swooping in for Team Liquid. Oh my lord, and look at the excitement. I mean, you couldn't not be elated at what we're seeing here. And, and you know, like talking individuals here, there, there's so many players who have started to come into their own. Everyone's having big impact rounds, but really I think you've got to look no further than, than Elise is one of the guys who, who even made this situation possible, right? In that, like, I, I think it was a two on three round where he doubles up in the A bomb site. Then we look at Naf over here at B. He's been a brick wall on these site holds. And the same can be said about Grim up in the apartments, mate. Oh. What on earth, dude? Smoke spam. Adian's gone. This pistol round's already gotten a little bit too hot to handle. Heroic might have to put it down. Liquid might do it for them. They brought the tranquilizers. A legion fallen, but it's all the orb. We said it was time to see what the sniper had in this series. The fallen, he's got the bomb. That smoke does nothing. And Grim chases the final kill. Liquid are feeling free flowing right now. Nothing can put a stop to them. No amount of dams can get in the way. And damn, Liquid, three from the semi-finals, oh. three from Na'Vi. This felt like a done deal at um. halftime. And it's not done yet. Heroic, will they have a second win? Sometimes a pause is all you need to catch your breath. Refocus inward. This is not how they want their Pro League story to be remembered, not after everything. A flawless group stage run. And a 12-3 in the third map of the quarterfinals, all for nothing. Or is it? Oh. Oh, this is risky, Stewie. Hasn't really been known for this aggression, not since really early on in the CT half. That sends him out of there. And now Heroic. Want to go back to Banana Naf like this is not where you want to oh, find yourself. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Yeah. Pushing ahead, traded after one, and now rotation's getting called for. It's only the low HP Stewie left in this bomb site. While this is happening, Refresh is late lurking out A. Smokes go in. Stewie, does he want to fight? Does he want to go? Flash through, but it's not going to blind his first man oh. in. Tess says, deals with him. And now you're a man down. Three on four. Oh, that's crazy. They go through the smoke. Elige was not ready for that. And Liquid, they've given it up four on fours. Well, how about four on ones? Refreshes Lug, kills Grim for a change. And it's all on Fallen. Just holding exits, just trying to keep this orb going into the next. I was going to say, Liquid have been saving a four on four as well. They probably wanted to save, but weren't given the choice, weren't given the option in this round. Fallen may as well throw himself in. He's got players in front and behind, and Stown will find that final kill. Getting an orb for Kadian as well. That's something that we've not had the luxury of on Heroic Liquid. They might have pulled this entire comeback for nothing if they can't immediately refocus and reset. This was a shame for Naf. He found that kill, but he re-swung back in. He does it because of the Molotov. It trapped him. It would have meant a lot of damage if he was to run back through and that left Stewie in an impossible spot right even though he got flashed in from his teammate that's a very difficult play to get away with Heroic ready for it 14 13 they found one for now yeah the last time Heroic got around Liquid was straight in with the response and that has to be the case now it has to be or else Liquid oh! Oh, fallen. Fallen flicks. I remember yes, a fallen flick I remember a fallen flick too Ever tell you about the one dealt to Stown? 28 rounds deep on Inferno in the quarterfinals? Damn. Okay, that's a hell of a way to find the man advantage. Still be waiting here with the AWP as well. He's gonna get nade dunked. That sends him back. Now they learn about this AWP. Oh, the read. Liquid, yeah, they're moving everyone yeah. round. Double AWP towards this B bomb site with Naf there to support. Flashes, smokes, the whole nine yards start to rain in, and this is a B commitment from Heroic. They don't have anywhere else to turn, so the two players in the site have got to hold the line. Flash from Fallen, blinds the players coming in. Stewie with one, Naf follows up. Liquid looking for this response, and refreshing Kadian are all that stand in their way, but not for long. 
Naf breaks apart the push and Team Liquid, an immediate response. It's exactly what was needed and it's flawless to find 14. Yeah, the, the double AWP as well is what does it, right? Both of the AWPers coming in with kills. Naf doubles up. He almost like uh, stayed behind the coffin smoke. He almost got locked out of the bomb site. Instead throws himself in off of Fallen's flashbangs. And both him and Stewie hold strong. Here we go. 30 round at a bare minimum for the semi, oh, sorry, for the semifinals. Yeah, that's where they're trying to get. That's where they're trying to go, but it's never going to be easy. Kadian knows he's got to save this up and that will be allowed at a bare minimum. But look at what they're going to bring around it. Stown's a bit poor. Everyone else can fall by, but it's far from perfect. And just in case, you know, you, you somehow missed this incredible series. If you're just tuning in, I need... Styles Mac 10. Fallen, peeking deep down mid, but not deep enough for Kadian to find him. No one wants to be that first man down. Grim even backs out of apps and plays on the balcony. Grim has been a monster in pit when required. But heroic of really only found success towards B. So that's the temptation here in round 29. Still going to set up on this A site. Three strong, two on long, fallen weights. At least going to get smoked off. You could boost over this. A big risk that you could get spammed out from below. So they won't go for it. Heroic take middle for now. Yeah, I mean, no one wants to be that first man to fall you know, in round 29 in the one that could decide the outcome of this quarterfinal. Everyone wants to play it safe. Team Liquid call for a fourth man around towards this long side. They actually flash a lesion Ooh, for a info. mid peak. This has led them down the garden trail. They've been led to believe that mid is clear. That smoke at least That's keeps it. heroic out. And with only 30 seconds left, if they do want to commit to A, they might have to go through that. If they're waiting for it to fade, this is like oh, a no. final 10 oh, no. second push. Here comes all the util. And Liege has just left middle, so now he's been called back. Right now, only oh. two players in this A bomb site. Fallen can't get out of there alive. And Liege waiting in the library smoke. He's going through. And Liege mows them down. He's trying to save NA. He's trying to save the day. And Grim from Pit locks it in. Wow. 15 for Team Liquid. A misread, but the adjustment is a immediate and a lesion grim send them packing that is riskiest play of the map right there going right through the library smoke you just lost fallen he got caught in the corner harry he didn't know where to go hunted by a mag 10 that had to change to a clock that was an absolute mess and a liege runs right through and gets dirty grim pit side double for him as well and liquid you can't stop believing 12-3 they're the first to find 15. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's an 8k, it's a Galil, it's three Mac 10s, that's all Heroic have got to oh. stop the unstoppable tide of liquid. Terrifying. It might just be an all in B commitment, but yeah. with Nafly here sitting at 30 kills deep, if there was any man for the job, it's Naf. And then alongside him, a B site legend in Stewie 2K. Yeah, Liquid know it's B. They pre rotated last time around. They're going to do it again. This time it's correct. This time Fallen's here to throw those flashbangs that at least lock Liquid into that previous B hold. It's never been more predictable. Liquid already stacked to the nines, holding strong. Yeah, Fallen flashed off, drops to Molly and Stewie here with the opener. They're oh. trying to chase Fallen down, but Stewie's got his back. It's the beginning of the end, and it's all the AWPs. Kanian, burnt out, can't find a thing. Stewie and Fallen making it happen, making Team Liquid be that semi-finalist. Refresh as good as he's been, as much as he's given us. This is a Team Liquid victory teed up. He's on for a third. Now oh. fly dead as well. Refresh. How are you making this happen? Grim, the pit hero, the guy who's dug deep throughout this entire series to save that A-bomb site, has now got to come in clutch at B. Refresh on for the ace in a one-on-five clutch. He's looking to keep his legacy in check. This never should have happened. It should have never been this close. Grim, his heart's racing, his heart's beating, but Refresh can't find him. It's a guessing game. Stick on the bomb. Grim doesn't swing. He thinks it's a fake. Refresh oh! with all Yeah, it's a real game now. The, the gloves are off.
bare knuckle boxing as we head into OT. Fallen once again with the orb. The ramification to taking peaks feel a little lesser in this first round of OT, so I wouldn't be surprised to see some truly wild scenes. I mean, hell, this series has not been shy of them so far. But it's a slow burner to open up overtime. Liquid, how are they going to be feeling after that? They had semi-finals in the palm yeah. of their hand. They, no one peeking, no one facing. I'm sure the analysts will break that down in every way imaginable. But my goodness, how is this game still going? Fallen, short side setup. They're ready to go. Four players are heroic. Ready to pounce on A. Apps player ready, and Cadian is going to be the first to find it. Refresh doesn't need to jump out apps just yet. You can slow it down. You can wait for this long lug to come in off the back of that smoke. Stewie takes a pot shot down B, but Stan can just leave. He doesn't need to die to the orb. Grouping up with the rest of Heroic, you've got plenty of time. You don't know about a Liege. He can swing out on that flash, but it does nothing to them. A Liege dead instantly. Grim now pit king, but this is too much to ask for one man alone. Oh, he's dead right away. And Stewie is just left saving in overtime. <laughs> There's really nothing he can hope to do here in the one on five. He's not refreshed. Ooh, Heroic are going to take the first when we hit OT. They come in yeah. wearing an entirely different face now. This is Pumped up by refresh. This is not what you want as a Team Liquid fan. Yeah, that's not your normal way to go to overtime. That was an unlosable, unsinkable round for Liquid. And Heroic have held on. Past that point, all you're feeling is bliss. All you're feeling is reinvigoration for Heroic. Your teammate is giving you a way back into this game. You need to grab it by both hands. Five alive after the first round. Save does nothing with 16k. Stewie knows it. He also knows that round was not to be his. Melted at the A-bomb site. Our liquid and Heroic start strong. Liquid, I mean, you know, they were on the back th th throughout this entire thing. It was a 12-3 half that they pull all the way back to being 15-14 up, and then they lose it 5v1. Now, they've dug deep once already, but now they're getting asked to do all that and more versus yeah. an entirely different beast. This isn't Heroic that's down in the dumps anymore. Triple this isn't Heroic orb. feeling this slip away from them. Triple orb. Elise just cycled one over to library. Keep that in mind for later. Oh, big grenades up B. But Ana was not nice to Liquid on their T side. It's certainly been not too good for Heroic either. Stewie still found that first pick. He's gotten out alive. Arm health off the back of it keeps Heroic out for now. And they don't know about the two more orbs up on A. A liege fighting from the short side. Fallen fell here last time around. The Molotov is going to keep him contained. Heroic look to take apps instead. Flash from Shush to try and set you up for something here. He can admit of oh. Poland's blind. That's Cadian netted that equalizer into the four on four. Pressure is on now. Fallen scoped up over here on long with Elise dead in middle. Fallen feeling the pressure, but they're going to get past him. Wrapping uh -oh. CT. Now nah, uh -oh. he hears the footsteps, but oh my god, they are coming his way and he does not like what he sees. Oh. Him and Stewie both fall and with it, so does the B-bomb site. Fallen's trying to catch up with these players, trying to come in on the backstab. We'll get one, but a deep smoke cuts him out, cuts him off, and makes this CT push down this suicide. He's got to wait for that to fade, and this is only going to give more time to Heroic. They drop Grim on the rotate, and now they're up to 17. There's nothing that Fallen can say or do I, to make this happen. I, and to think of the fact that these CT rounds have been what teams have been winning, right? Of course, you know, in overtime, everything goes out the window, but neither team could get anything done on the T side. Heroic are on the way to getting as many rounds on the T side as overtime, on overtime, as they did in regulation. You can see the pressure's getting to Liquid. That didn't seem to be calmed across. Naf wasn't aware they could be close until he heard the steps. And then he throws that flash. That was a whiffed flash. Not an easy one to lob anyway. Who's trying to bounce it off of that balcony to pop behind him. Instead, it goes in deep to the speedway. It does nothing for him. He's split in two. And even despite the opener for Stewie, right, he got the five on four out of the gate. Heroic, a perfect pick onto a liege. They won it against Fallen last time. A liege gave it a go. It didn't work either. And now it's falling apart for Liquid. Now the pressure's getting to them. How the hell do you keep your head in the game after that round 30? 
It's all anyone's thinking yeah. about, even now in the third round of overtime. Yeah, that, that's not one of these little clutches that you can write off. That was not a little clutch. That was, a, you know, clutch of the year candidate out of refresh. The implications, what it's done, not just to Heroic in firing them yeah. up, but what it's done to Team Liquid. And knocking them down. Stewie, oh, dead oh, on dear. the swing. And just like that, B is open for business again. It's a freebie. Liquid have been locked out of these rounds. Nav has to multi-kill. He's flashed through. He will die. Liquid, if this was reg, they would be saving before that even came in. Well, now you've got to give it everything. Last round of the half. And it's going to be flawless for Heroic unless Liquid have something incredulous up their sleeve. Molly is good to keep Shush back and low. But Liquid need more than that. They're even being flanked by Refresh, the man that put the knife in the back, the MVP. And he's here to end it all. There's one. Now they know the back is open. Elite or the stand. And he's clearing dead angles. It's clean. It's three for Heroic. And it's match point for the semi finals against Na'Vi. Heroic, they can taste it. I mean, you know, sometimes all it can take one round, one clutch moment to fire a team up. And it, it's quite the other for it to break a team down. But Team Liquid, they look defeated. They look out of it from a 12-3 half all the way to 15-14 in Liquid's favor. A 1v5 at a refresh. And now Heroic one round away from locking in those semifinals. No way. Kadian's getting Ooh. aggressive with it, trying to really drive the message home that this is a Heroic uh -oh. victory. It's slower now. There were fast rounds in regulation for T uh, Team Liquid's T side, maybe too fast at times. Well, now you've got to respect the util. Now you've got to respect the orb. It fired off to find a legion leg, and now it's already back on B. Liquid don't know yet. They're going to have to find out the hard way. Look like they want an execute. Still two men back at that A side. Molly is going to give some respect the way of Heroic. Liquid have to back out a banana, and everyone's trying to get nade damage off. Kadian receives some, but will respond. Almost finishing Stewie. He's taken Fallen Zorp, he's very low. Nav's still lurking up on the A side, dropping in that util, but it's not convinced Heroic. They're still stacked back with two at B. This is for all the marbles. This is for the entire series. This round, this execute. Yeah, here comes the push. They do deal with Stout. Kadian's the guy to try and get past. He doesn't want to let them in, but he doesn't have much of a say in the matter. With this B-Site falling, Heroic down a man in the retake, but that's not stopped them before. They still likely want to give this one a go. They still want to throw whatever they can into this B-Bomb site. That Molly is really going to make things awkward for Stu. Luckily enough, they let him get out. Here's the push through CT. Stewie and Elise trade it back. And so Team Liquid, they stay afloat for now. They need two more rounds to get this one to a double overtime game. And you could be damn sure Heroic are going to do everything in their power to deny them that right. More money, more orbs, no problems. Kadian threw himself into the action last round. He at least got value out of it. Is he going to take that deep mid? Neither of the orbs have run now on the CT side once they know the guns are in play. Well, in overtime, guns are always in play. And so Heroic, again, don't make that risk happen. Kadian tries to take a pot shot down Banana, and even though Heroic control the top of B, Liquid are fine with giving that away, waiting out the util again. Fallen that Molly's going to trap a player forward, and so they might have to flash down, down Banana. He does take the peak. He clears it out completely, and look at the info that's given Heroic. Yeah, in a wild way, that Molly forcing down forward is everything for Heroic. It got them the info that Banana was clear, and, and so you're calling for an early four-man setup uh -oh. at this A bomb site. Liquid are walking into the stack. They don't survive the first encounter. Two men down now. Liquid trying their best to hang on, but their best might not be good enough. Stewie burning alive, and it's all eyes on Fallen. One on three. The bomb out on short. He can't find a thing. He's trapped in a prison of heroics making. Trapped in a prison oh. of the mind.